one thing I particularly like about AI is actually um, there's a certain level of chaos that's built into the process. The theme of the Vogue China issue that I was shooting the cover for was Into the Wild, which uh, they kind of explained it to me as taking the sort of Vogue world, the level of sort of sophistication and elegance that Vogue is known for in the fashion world and sort of adding a layer of hyper-reality and surreality to it. I had to kind of figure out what tools to use, what is the best way to sort of bring in that surreal touch while retaining a sort of sophistication and elegance that is expected of Vogue. I shot this in May of 2023. So I had been working with AI at that point only for about six months. It was a very new technology for me and it was still something that I was kind of, yeah, in the play stage with, which is kind of still the case. I mean, I, I generally want to be playful with everything that I'm doing. <laughs> at all times, but definitely I was still in a sort of uh, beginner's mind with it. And so it was an interesting task and challenge with rather high stakes to figure out what is this new tool going to do? How can we use it? We had all of the moving parts of a traditional shoot. You know, I had a model, I had a beauty team, hair, makeup, nails. We had a stylist who had their full team. I brought a set designer to bring in different set elements that we could use for the model to kind of engage with to get different postures and poses, even though I knew that I was going to erase a lot of the set pieces and replace them with other digital elements. I still kind of, you know, I still needed to get a sort of sense of reality. There's an image of the model driving a car. The steering wheel that she's using, that's a physical prop that I asked the set designer to bring in because I kind of wanted to sort of play with this, like, this trope of the model in the car. For example, I wanted the model to be kind of interacting with some kind of animal that they were riding. The image of the model in the snowscape, that one really came entirely after post. That one was much more, how can we, what kind of gestures can we get the model to do? How can we ask the model to behave that will just make the clothing really feel evocative and desirable and exciting and will kind of bring her, the model, that her personality and her kind of physicality, what can we bring out in that? And then, let that lead the picture and see what that picture is going to kind of offer us in terms of the possibilities for post-production. Then I would go and generate images that were completely unrelated to the model and anything like that, that were just either kind of looking at the texture, color, or kind of mood or, or yeah, sort of thematic elements that I could draw from the outfits or from the gesture that the model was giving from the selects that we made on the shoot. Trying to see if I could make some imagery with AI that just felt like it connected or had some resonance with those things. And then trying to sort of merge those things together. I was working with this fabulous retouching team at Inc where it was kind of like, what can they do? How can they offer their skills to sort of add this sort of cohesion? And so that was kind of the post process is trying to figure out how to get all these disparate elements to just cohere in a way that felt interesting, exciting, kind of new, but not so new that was kind of unrecognizable or unrelatable and, and couldn't kind of exist within the kind of Vogue brand. One thing I particularly like about AI is actually there's a certain level of chaos that's built into the process. Um, you know, the technology functions off of computational randomness on some level. So there's there's a lack of control that's that's just part of the process as it currently exists that I quite like where you can kind of start with a general idea, kind of how we did with the shoot. It, it really aligned with the shoot in a way where we had a kind of vague mood and a feeling that we wanted to evoke. Um, but beyond that, it could be anything. And I kind of that's sort of how my use of AI works for me as well is is, you know, you kind of start with some type of imagery or some feeling you want to evoke or some thematic, and then you kind of give it a go. And then through the kind of random processes of the technology will kind of give you something. And it's usually wrong. It's usually cliche. It's shocky. And you say, okay, this is terrible, but there's some element there that's working. Let's see if I can kind of push and work my way towards that. And so there's a process of discovery that I find really exciting. And so I find AI is just a really interesting new uh, angle of attack to, to look at those questions and use them in interesting, exciting ways.